today is specifically for the deck these are the items that we already have let me tell you what i did yesterday so i took this apart this was a four seater now it's a two seater because you can always alter it it could be a one seater if i take this piece off and slot this over here so it's very customizable so i made this into a two seater i do need to go to ikea to get some more of these end pieces though because as a four seater it only had two end pieces instead of four so this is for the other side so once i get that i'll have two i decided to do two two seat or two love seats just because i want something conversational the way i had it last time was just it was just a sectional on this wall and everyone would look out here and it, it wasn't very conversational so i wanted to switch that up and also have the egg chair as like an anchor chair as well don't know how i'm gonna do that i am gonna switch this rug to turn it this way the long way so that it can you know really elevate that space and make it known as a conversational space this is a fire pit i think i'm gonna move it or i might leave it as a table haven't decided yet we'll see on that this is just a little this was my little bar area thing um, I'm definitely going to utilize that again. These were downstairs in the basement. I took them apart and kind of fit them to this wall here. The only thing is we need to go get something to help anchor these to the top or something. It doesn't go all the way to the top. So there is a space and I just don't feel like regular screws is going to anchor this down because it's super heavy. And I got this from Amazon, by the way. I will link everything below. So I do want to anchor them kind of up there and have a chain or something hanging on each side. So it has that extra support along with the screws that it's going to have along the um, rail. So I'm excited about it. Look how nice it looks. It just brings a little bit of pizzazz. And I like that the, you know, the stairs are another pattern. So it just gives it so much feng shui. Look at me. Tell us feng shui. Yeah, it gives that. I want to have my refrigerator and stuff here on this wall I haven't really decided what I want to do but I do think I want to put a TV up here I do want some entertainment I do want to be able if we're gonna have the couches right here set up boom boom might as well have a TV so I'm thinking of putting the TV right here I did buy that new mount that I saw on Amazon where you don't have to do any studs or any holes or anything so I'm excited to see what that's what that's gonna be like um, and then I'll just get a TV to go out here and i might still do like a grass wall behind the tv just to kind of hide cords and stuff haven't quite decided but that is the plan eventually not sure if that's going to get done today because i don't even have a tv i mean so and before i forget this is the dining table that i'm referring to however i decided to take the legs off because i wanted to paint them black so let's go downstairs because i painted the table the bottom of the table black but i haven't painted the bottom of these chairs one of these screws stripped so we got to find something to get that screw out so hopefully they got something at lowe's that'll help me get that screw out so i can take that off and paint that one as well so let's go we are down in the basement and i'm not mad at this at all i'm using a flat black paint nothing shiny i like it to look like nice i don't know i just really like flat paint so i'm just using a flat paint on these and honestly this came out looking really good I didn't sand it or anything. I just sprayed it. If it starts to crack or something, I will sand it and spray it. But I really don't have time for all that today. So, yeah, this is what we're working with. And these are the bottom of the chairs. So, I am going to go ahead and spray paint those. I'm back home and went ahead and put this up has the hooks up there and the chain is kind of holding the weight of this and then screw down that so that it's nice and flush so it looks pretty good it looks pretty good I love it so now I'm gonna show y'all what I have I have some more flooring to go right here so I'm gonna do like some artificial flooring right there and 
I'll just take y'all through everything else we got. These are the floorings I picked up and I got some plants as y'all can see. I'm gonna do a DIY planner situation here. These are just trash cans. Oops. These are just trash cans that I'm putting on top of one another to have a nice planter. So I'm about to drill some holes in here and then hot glue gun them together to look like that. And then I do have this big plant as well that I went ahead and put into a planter that rolls. So that's cool. I also bought some pillows and stuff that has nothing to do with the deck, but that's another video, of course. So yeah, I also finished painting all of the chair things. So you will see those a little bit later. It is the next day and this is the final day of me revamping my deck because it's almost done. I decided to X these. These did not go with what I really wanted. So I removed them and I will be taking these back. I also got a new TV. I got this from Best Buy y'all and I just had Instacart deliver it. I also have this no studs, no hassle wall mount to put my TV up with. And this one is for any TV that's below 55 inches. So mine is a 43 inch, so it was perfect. All you needed was some nails. They gave you the nails, all you needed was a hammer. It's so quick to use. So now it's time to restock my refrigerator. We'll actually have to clean it out first and then restock it. It looks so disgusting. Let me show you. Well, I don't know what brand this is, to be honest with you guys, but I really like that it's see-through. But these drinks have been in here for a minute, so I'm gonna take these out clean it out as y'all see I got my Dawn and my little hand thing so I'm gonna clean this out and then we're gonna restock it but I need to use this and utilize this refrigerator because this costs some money so why not <laughs> restock my fridge with so let's just go ahead and stock it i do need to wash the fruit and everything and i'm putting in some containers we'll do that in a second but let's get to like the drinks and stuff psych like we're washing them now <laughs> the fat. gross Y'all, I haven't shown y'all the deck because I've been putting my last little touches on it. But let me show you the final deck reveal and tour. Because you deserve that. I just ate some chicken and some rice, so I got something in my tooth. Sorry. This is the final deck reveal. 
Isn't it beautiful? I had the curtains open, but I closed them. So, yeah, let me just take you from a tour from over here on this wall first. So first I have my fridge. This is my deck fridge and it is fully stocked with all the goodies. Y'all got, you guys saw that we stocked her up, but I also bought some salad and some Lunchables and stuff just for when I'm out here watching movies and I get a little snacky. And then I just have this lamp. I forgot what this is even from but it does have a light it does come with batteries so yeah it's just a little lantern and then i got this from ikea i think it was like 11 dollars for this stand and it fits perfectly in between here where i can put like my remotes lighters and then a little decor there some snacks i have my speaker there and some bug spray and I also have this serving table here which is cool for like mimosas and any type of drink Where you going? What you doing? I just saw you zooming past, girl. You got the zoomies? You got the zoomies too, the... Um, So yeah, that's just a little stand there for when I am hosting for me to have some things out here. And if you come here, of course, the curtains, they're nicely put up with a black rod. I also have those lights too. Um, but those lights, they are out over there. So I still need to get some new ones or like figure out what's wrong with those bulbs. But love those at nighttime. I also broke down this sectional. It's a love seat now with an armless chair, which I think works perfectly. And I also put the cushions of the other seat, well, the other chair that would have been a part of that. I put that there because I couldn't make another chair out of it. So I just put it in here because I feel like it's nicer and it just creates a nice fluffy look. And I just put the arms back on there. So I feel like this, this made it more cohesive because all of the pillows are the same. So that was a good look. I love this rug. I've had this rug before the revamp. I don't even know where I got it, but it's such a great outdoor rug. I feel like the pattern and how it's just made is made very, very well. These are my trash can planters. Like, don't they look good? I mean, if you want to put something, if you want to paint them to make them look extra, extra perfect, or you know, you can, you can make them all look, you can put some, um, compound around that and smooth it out and it could actually be one piece i don't think it's that deep i really i personally do not think it's that deep so i'm just gonna leave it like that and i put the real plant in there and i just put some moss on top to give it that nice greenery look and i'm obsessed with that i think it looks really good the pillows i definitely could have went a size down on the pillowcases but it's really not that deep for me either but if i do find some bigger pillows i'll put them in those pillowcases and then just get a smaller pillowcase for the pillow inserts i have and then we'll have two sets of pillows so i will be looking out for that to satisfy y'all because i know y'all hate to see these <laughs> pillows like this i get it i do have the greenery from my bedroom if you guys remember my bedroom tour and my bedroom revamp i will link it below for those of you who haven't seen it yet i know it's missing pieces but hey it gives it a little character but i do have some extra moss if i want to just kind of like glue it in there but it's not that big of a deal it still brings a nice vibrant element to the outdoors and i love that that. and then if you walk around the couch you have your little sitting area which was the focal point for the revamp I wanted something where I can sit down and actually do some work out here bring my computer my laptop sit out here bring my coffee and just really take in this vitamin D and also just the the birds chirping the greenery it just all makes me feel like working it inspires me so this was really the focal point and this is just a little um fireplace i got from amazon i could do is add alcohol and light it on fire and it becomes a flame love it if you guys want i will link it all below for you guys if you guys are interested in that now this plant like i said is from ikea you guys saw that it's from ikea i did the same thing i bought the base from ikea as well put the plant in there put the moss on top and we have this gorgeous tropical type of tree and of course the highlight of the entire deck as well is this divider this divider was a task when i say it was a task i did not i didn't know i was gonna need the chain or the hook at first i was just gonna like screw it in but this thing is heavy and i realized it was gonna strip those screws and one night it was just gonna fall over so yeah i decided to go ahead and mount it up and you really don't see the chain so that's pretty cool you wouldn't really even notice it if i don't like point it out to you so that's pretty cool 
And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. My, well, I normally keep these open. It gives it more of um, the elegant look. Ooh. You see what I mean? It gives it that nice elongated. And since I went all the way up, it's really nice. So love, love, love that. I could have went up further. I just realized I could have went up a little bit further, but it was easier to put them in the wood poles than to put it up there because that stuff is really hard to screw, to screw into. So yeah, I just settled with that. And that is pretty much it. Of course, the fire pit in the corner. Oh, and of course the TV. I do want to do something to this background area. I would like to add a grass wall back up here, but I need to figure out a way to do it that's pretty simple. I do still have that greenery though. If I wanted to do that grass wall back there, I do have that. Um, but when I put it up the last time, it was falling down. So I do think I want to do it again though. I think it'll look much better with the TV up there. It'll just give it a little bit of pizzazz to put that and it'll hide the cord as well. So I think that is going to be the next step there. It's just to add that grass wall there. But that is everything, you guys. I'll give you another 360 of the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like it. Um, I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed finishing it up. And yeah. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my deck. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to have more house projects coming, of course. I'm always redoing something or DIYing something. So stay tuned for my hot tub area because that's going to be... I feel like I'm going to enhance that so much more. But thank you guys for sticking around. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.